Hi, I'm Heather, and this is my channel, Mama in Motion. Today, I am going to be taking a break from weight loss and cutting my hair. So, I've got some crazy split ends going on, and I've watched uh, a clip, a clip, and I've watched a video from Brad Mondo, who I really enjoy watching, and uh, he showed how to do a basic haircut by parting your hair into four sections and uh, hair tying them into place. You slide it down and then cut just below the hair tie. So I'm going to give that a try today and we shall see how it turns out which I am really excited for and uh, I'm excited to get some healthier hair. I'm going to be cutting this part of my bangs too because it's also very Graggly and just looks terrible. So, all of this stuff will be coming off, and I'm going to do it here at home on video. And we're going to see how it turns out at the end. Here's my hair for reference right now. So as you can see, it has a lot of damage, it's very dry, and this just needs to go. So we're going to go shorter, and we're going to see how it turns out. Alright, so I already have it parted where I wanted. I blow dried it until it was um, damp. I don't want it completely dry because it gets super frizzy and hard to deal with and manage. So I want it still slightly manageable. Um, but I don't want to do it wet because my hair <clears throat> doesn't like being brushed fully wet. I would lose a lot of hair that way. So that is not my plan today. So I've already brushed it out. Now let's start parting. I began this process by splitting my hair into two major sections and then I went ahead and I clipped half of that so that I could work with the other half into splitting that part into two sections. I will say that the process of tying the hair in the back like I show here was not as simple and cut and dry as it would seem. I had to be sure not to pull the hair forward towards my face or pull it to the side. That way it would fall um, flat down my back and not have any slack to it. I did end up redoing the back several times until I felt that I had it good enough. I'm not stressing perfection here, I just wanted to get my hair cut and I didn't want to go to the salon. It was a spontaneous idea and I decided to just go with it and make my hair healthier. So this is my endeavor to do that. Sometimes I wish I wasn't so spontaneous so that I could have gone to the store and gotten the proper uh, small clear rubber bands for this project but instead I used my ponytail holders which are a lot bulkier and don't get as tight as I would have liked but they still did their purpose. I worked on making the back and the front as level as possible so that I could get a straight cut between the front and back, but I was aware that the cut was not going to be perfect. Uh, it was not as simple as watching the video with Brad Mondo doing it. He did it on a mannequin which had like no shoulders and my shoulders are obviously in the way. So it was not as easy as what I watched happen in the video, but I still made it work. And now that I have everything ready to go, I've got my scissors and I'm about to make my first cut. I was very nervous doing this, but I was also really excited to see the difference and to see how it turned out. So here we go. First cut in. I started with the front. Um, I don't really have a reason why I started with the front. I felt like it wasn't as uh, permanent, I guess. And what I mean by that is that the front was already taking off a lot less length. So I felt like if I did the front and I wasn't satisfied with it, 
that I could at least just take off less from the back but I ended up being very excited about it and I proceeded to do the other side and then do the backs. I haven't cut my hair myself since about 2017 and this was quite challenging to do. I realized how uncoordinated I am whenever I was sitting there cutting. It was difficult to see the ends of my hair whenever my hair was that close to my face. But I did manage to keep going and I was able to make it work. Now we're getting to the backs and things are getting real. I was quite anxious about this cut, but I just decided to go for it. And once I did, it looked very choppy and horrible, so I had to retouch it up. But whenever I first saw how short it was, I was really excited, as you can see here. I didn't record my vocal reactions while I did this. I listened to music instead because I knew that my microphone on my phone just wouldn't pick up the sound consistently of me talking and it goes up and down, it sounds horrible. So I decided to do this voiceover instead and I feel like it has turned out a lot better this way than it would have if I was talking to you from my bathroom while I was cutting my hair. So here we go, going for the last one and the first cut and then we just keep snipping. And now that all the length is off, it's time to go in and just touch up and cut through vertically to make a more soft appearance instead of it being so blunt and straight across in each place that I cut. And so I just blended. I went through and I blended. Next, I went through and I worked on my bangs to get some of the dry damaged hair off of the length of my bangs. So I just used the scissors diagonally and kind of slid across the hair to take off some. Um, I've seen them do that in the hair salon and I really liked how it turned out in the salon so I went ahead and did it here. I really had no idea what I was doing, but I could see a bunch of parts that were uneven, so I did a lot of trimming just to try to even out all the areas that were um, up and down and all over the place. So this is my attempt to do that. And here is the big reveal of the final haircut. It is far from perfect, but I am still super happy with it. And I'm glad that I got all that dead damaged hair off of my head. So I just wanna go ahead and wrap up this video and say thank you so much for watching. I also am on a 100 pound weight loss journey. I've lost about 10 to 12 pounds on any given day so far, so I've got about 90 pounds left to go. And if you're interested in that, I've got some links here on the sides for you. Thanks so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day.